Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to my channel for another speed build. So today we are building an Oasis Springs again, except this time the inspiration behind the house is kind of like, um, uh, <laughs> what? Like a Spanish villa type house, but, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. I, I filmed this floor plan, I will link it down below, by pinterest on pinterest and i think i looked up um spanish villa because i wanted to do a mediterranean style house um, because i just i cannot build those very nice i don't know what it is they just never turn out good and i've found so many pretty house plans and i've attempted to build it i think i've attempted to build two different mediterranean i think that's how you say it style houses before i settled on this one um and i just i was not happy with it i just couldn't was not working so i decided to go to this neighborhood in oasis springs where the houses they they you know they kind of look mediterranean but um they're a little bit smaller a little bit more like a spanish villa is kind of what it reminds me of um so i thought it was such a cute simple little house a uh, big fan of i think it turned out so cute i had a lot of fun building it um but uh yeah look see here i'm struggling with the terrain tools let me know am i the only one who absolutely sucks at terrain tools i envy everybody who builds that can just kill it i can't i was trying to make like a little walkway up to the door that included the stairs and it i, I gave up so it kind of has like a little bit of a hill there that i kept i thought that you know it looks so nice we will we'll roll with that it'll work <laughs> but yeah I, I just i can't so i hardly ever use terrain tool if i use terrain tool i you know maybe put like <laughs> some little hills in the yard or something but i just i'm not very good at it it took me this long to build decently in the sims 4 so adding terrain tools just really makes it a whole lot more complicated which I appreciate terrain tools. I think it's awesome. You know, I really do. But I just, I wasn't very good at it when it came to um, The Sims 3 either. I don't think I ever did that as well. But yeah, so just ignore that because I did struggle <laughs> a little bit. But anyways, I like this house. Like I said, I think it turned out really cute. And I did use a ton of stuff from the Jungle Adventures pack. Just because it reminded me of like... A little Spanish villa and I decided that I was going to furnish it for grandparents at first it was gonna be grandma's Spanish abode or Spanish villa something like that which I don't think villa is necessarily the right term because when I think of villa I think about like like a big house or a vacation house or something like that and this is like it's not a starter home don't get me wrong it's not very cheap because you know um, I did furnish it and everything, but it's a small home. I don't really know how much the, um, I think it ended up costing 62 or something-ish simoleon. So it's not, like, t too bad. I think that's how much it costs. I, I could be thinking of another build because I just checked the price on another build and Pregnancy Brain. I may, I don't know. I will let you guys know in the description, kind of like the details. I need to start doing that, putting more, like, detailed descriptions. Um, I just honestly get... A little bit lazy <laughs> with it uh, and I forget also have you, anybody that watches my videos until the end have you noticed that I am awful at remembering to put the video clips on my end screen I have the little end screen slide that's like thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and then there's like a big blank where you're supposed to like go in and put like links to different videos I never do that and the reason is which I wish <sighs> I don't know if it's possible, but I wish that YouTube would allow you to do that without the video going live. So, I usually upload my videos ahead of time and, like, schedule them to be um, live or go live or released on a certain time or a certain day. But you can't put those video clips at your end screen until the video goes live. So, you know, sometimes I'm not around my computer or I'm busy doing something, which is why I have it scheduled to be uploaded at a certain time. And I can't do it from my, like, phone. I have to get on the computer and do it. And it's just, like, a pain in the butt. Um, so, it'd be beneficial, you know, I'm just saying, if they was to do that. Allow you to put your little end screens and video inserts. 
while uploading the video. You know how you can do the description box and everything? I don't know. That's just something I'm thinking of. That would really help me out a lot. <laughs> but anyways, here we are doing the landscaping of the house. And, um, okay, I do not finish all. Okay, I kind of finished the front yard, but usually I've been making a very good habit of completely decking out as far as like landscaping and decorating the front yard and the backyard before I move into the interior of the house just because to me it makes the house feel more I don't know like complete like it's realistic you would have your landscaping most of the time before you move your furniture in I don't know I just feel like I kind of flow better that way but with this house um I was just kind of fed up, <laughs> honestly, fed up with the landscaping. I just did not really like it that much, didn't think it looked too good, so I ended up, you know, just kind of finishing it, and then I ended up going back at the end of the video and finishing the backyard and adding, like, some final touches to the front yard, but, I mean, the landscaping's not that bad, it's just... I don't know sometimes I have like these expectations in my head of what I want things to look like and then I just it doesn't work for me <laughs> it really doesn't but you know I tried and I think at the end it comes out pretty nice but anyways on to the interior of the house keep in mind like I said I did use a lot of stuff from Jungle Adventure Pack and I did furnish it for um, a grandparents uh, I imagine it you know be grandma and grandpa and I would imagine that they are of like um they're like Spanish or or whatever <laughs> um maybe from Selva Dorada yeah that's how you say it right it's been a long time since I've played with Jungle Adventure but Selva Dorada I think um because I did give the grandpa um one of those archaeology tables and I would imagine that maybe they would go and visit sometimes maybe that's their hometown I don't know but I do imagine that they would be raising their granddaughter or maybe they adopted a child. I don't know, but um, I would imagine it'd be their granddaughter because you know, I can't imagine them being like the grandma and grandpa, not necessarily like mom and dad as if they would have adopted them because they're like elders. So that's always one of my favorite like households to play with, apart from like a single mom or a single dad, is having like a grandma, grandpa, or just a grandma or just a grandpa raising their grandchild um, for whatever circumstance, whether the parents unfortunately passed away um, or they're just not involved in their child's life, unfortunately, which is really sad, but you know, it happens. Um, so yeah, I think that's a fun little story to play with. I do that a lot. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, I do furnish one of the bedrooms for a child who is a little girl. Um, but for the most part, the house is kind of small. Uh, well, I mean, I was able to fit three bedrooms in and two baths. So that's why it's small. I could have made it a little bit more spacious, but... I like to have two to three bedrooms, and I was following, like, a floor plan, so, yeah, I don't know, I, it turned out a lot better than I thought it would, and I think it's really nice, because, like, the living room, for example, I've never done this layout in the living room, I've never had the couches, you know, facing each other, and the TV kind of, like, in front, you know, how it's set up here, never really done that, so it was a different, and it was a lot of fun to do, like, different things and different floor plans, so I really do like how it turned out. But the, like, dining room is also the entry room to the house. And like I said, it's a different floor plan. And I like that because I've never done that before. Um, but it's just different. It was kind of a lot to get used to because I've, I've never been in a house really where the entry front main door is leading to the dining room. But I know that is very common in some houses, but I was just like, ooh, this is like a little tight space. So I was able to fit a little round four chair table in there. And I don't know, I just, I think it's very cozy, very cute. I really do like how it turned out, like I said. And the kitchen is definitely the most spacious area of the house. Um, and I was able to put a washer and dryer in this house as well. Because at first I was like, um, oops. <laughs> like, I did not think I'm left 
any room but i was able to squeeze it there in the kitchen i made like a little cubby hole for it and put a little end table with some like laundry accessories so yeah i don't know if you can hear what's going on in the backyard as i'm trying to do this voiceover but currently <laughs> my boyfriend has a bunch of beagle dogs um, because for the fun fact, for those of you who don't know, beagle dogs um, are like a hunting type dog. They run rabbits, um, hunt rabbits or whatever, and that's just a pastime, you know, for some people down here in the south. is very popular. <laughs> so he has like a ton of beagle dogs, and it's kind of like a sport. Um, but they're also like our little babies, and he has three of them, which is like his three favorites. <laughs> um, they're up front in the, well, not up front, but they're in the backyard whereas the other dogs are in the dog yard back behind the house kind of a ways down um but anyways they're having like a howling competition out there and it's kind of funny <laughs> but I don't, I don't know if you can hear that but it's, i just i hear it so loud and clear in my ear and i'm like really dude like could you knock it off a little bit but anyways that's besides the point back to the speed build um yeah, I just, uh, mm. <laughs> I hate voiceovers. I'm like, yeah, let's get back to it. But I don't even, I don't even know what to say. Like, where was I at? Um, kitchen. Yeah, we're in the kitchen. <laughs> the kitchen is probably one of my favorite rooms in the house. I don't know. Like, the whole house is just, was a lot of fun. Like I said, different floor plan, a lot of fun. Um, and every time I, I build a house and I kind of like imagine who I would want to live in this house. I, I get so inspired and I want to go create them so I have really been fighting the urge and I'm telling you I've really been fighting it and I'm not kidding to go and create these grandparents and their little granddaughter and play them just because I love their house I just think it's a fun story to play if you have never played with two elders or an elder raising a child like their grandchild it's a really fun story to play because I know for me usually with like my legacies or current households once I get to like an elder stage most of my kids are already like young adults and I'm kind of ready to play with that generation so I move them out and then I will just like call you know the elders like grandma grandpa hey how you doing or mom and dad um, go visit them every now and then but for the most part I kind of like don't ever really play with elders honestly a lot and I think it has a lot to do with the fact that I mean there's just not a lot for them to do I mean there's I don't know because they can't work out because they'll get exhausted they can't even like woohoo they'll get exhausted and could die of overexertion um, I mean there's like some hobbies for them I guess but it's nothing like distinct as far as like I think we should have a sewing table or knitting or I don't know I, I do like playing with elders is what I'm trying to say but <laughs> I just feel like it'd be a lot more fun if we had a generations type pack where you know the grandparents could brag about their grandkids and stuff like that but yeah I just don't really play with elders a lot so every now and then when I do play with a storyline when I get bored and want to you know play the game and um, this is one of my go-to's and it's a lot of fun so if you haven't tried the storyline I definitely recommend <laughs> it I usually don't get bored um, but I get really depressed when the grandparents finally pass away <laughs> but anyways um, on to the child's room um, it is pink it's not very matchy which I didn't imagine that it would be very matchy maybe because they wasn't expecting to oh we are now raising this child after you know their elders um i can imagine it not necessarily like a burden but you know it's, it's not a burden especially if it's your grandchild it's your family but you know when you're an elder you've already pretty much raised your kids so you're kind of like looking forward to retirement but here you are having to oh raise another kid and they can children having kids is cost some money it's expensive so i just imagine that they kind of grab some furniture what they could and kind of put it together so i mean it's not like too mixed match but at the same time i didn't really focus on matching it all that great um but i think it's cute i think it turned out really nice and then i flopped <laughs> i decorated this cute little bookshelf desk area right here 
decorated the whole room, put her some toy, to toys, that came out weird, toys in the room, looked nice, right, Look, looking real good, and then I realized, um, I forgot to put doors to the bathroom because it's kind of like a Jack and Jill bedroom, bathroom type deal. The two bedrooms on this side of the house are connected um, between the bathroom. So the only way to get to the bathroom is through the bedroom. So I completely forgot to put those doors down. So I had to, um, I could have probably edited this footage out, saved a little bit of time, but I didn't because it really... It's not a very long voiceover. It's not a very long video, if you ask me. I was kind of impressed with how short it was. Um, but I do end up deleting the whole desk and bookshelf area. And I was going to put a smaller version of that bookshelf. And then, like, a smaller, you know, desk um, there in between the door and the closet. But I just didn't really like how it looked. It just didn't look the same as, like, the bigger bookshelf and desk. So I ended up putting the little desk that has like the bookshelf on top you'll see what I'm talking about um which is cute but I definitely like the big bookshelf better <laughs> oh my gosh I'm getting choked Whew. but anyways <laughs> as far as like her toys and everything um I did put the scouts little thing here I just think that's such a fun activity for kids kind of gives them something to do and excel towards and you know that sorts of stuff and my favorite decoration for a kids room is that little toy chest i believe it came with parenthood with the toys like spilling out of it unfortunately it's not functional as a toy box which i think that they should fix that in an update and allow that to be functional because um i don't like to have that clutter object and then a whole nother toy box because i mean unless your kids got like a ton of toys which i mean i guess is realistic um I wouldn't have two toy boxes so I did put some of the little toys out of that you know that you would put in a toy box I kind of pulled them out and sat them on her little end table and I would imagine that she could just have them in her inventory and she could play with them wherever in the house that she wants to because you know that is realistic most kids don't stay in their room to play they kind of drag out and take it you know wherever they want to go so yeah uh, overall I think her room turned out really cute and then here is the last room, which I just kind of made like a little hobby room. I didn't really put a lot in it just because I just don't know really what elders would do. So I did give them a little desk area and I gave them a little bit of the older style computer just because uh, most older people aren't <laughs> very uh, technology advanced. Uh, some are, so don't take it as a insult if you're an older uh, person and you're watching this you may be very <laughs> good with computers i know my nana she has like the best of the best computer anytime it comes out she has like ipads and all that sorts of stuff but um she still doesn't really like she'll call me all the time can you tell me how to like do this but i've also worked for a guy who was older and he did not even know how to um go online like he didn't even know how to log into the computer so yeah i gave them the like more cheap older tiny computer and then i did give the grandpa an archaeology table because like i said i imagine that maybe they would be from Silver dorado or they you know have traveled there have ancestors there i don't know family i don't know and maybe he's into archaeology which another thing i really wish that archaeology that came with um the skill that came with jungle adventure would have been an opportunity to give us a new career, which would have been like an archaeology career. That would have been really cool because I'm all for careers. I think we need more. <laughs> um, but yes, now here I am doing the exterior of the house. Like I said, I did go back towards the end and add a little bit more plants. Um, I like the little fencing that I used that came with Strangerville. I think it looks really, really cute. Um, I gave a little swing set back here for the granddaughter to have something to do. And then I did put one of the little flower creator little things where you can you know create bouquets of flowers for the grandma maybe to do I gave her a few planner boxes uh just to give them like a little bit of stuff to do in their past time i don't imagine that they would work I wish like i said in previous videos that we was able to have part-time jobs for every age but unfortunately we don't but anyways this is the end of this video if you guys liked it be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you have not the house is available for download on the gallery so if you like it be sure to check that 
that out follow me on there and with that being said i love you guys and i'll talk to you later bye